Hello and welcome to Khalsa Design. I'm Tanish Singh and today I'm going to walk you through creating that cool text rolling effect you often see in Vogue style animations. All within DaVinci Resolve. Let's dive in. First things first, open DaVinci Resolve. We are going to create new fusion composition. Set your frame rate to 24 fps. Drag and drop your new fusion composition onto your timeline. Then head over to the fusion page. Let's add a text plus node. Tap in whatever text you would like to animate. For the text property, set the font to play fair display with the style as medium change the color to black and set the tracking value to 1.02 now we need to create a mask for our text add a merge node and connect your text plus node to this merge then add a background node and connect it to the merge node to its foreground input. Select the background node and set its color to an off-white by adjusting the red, green and blue values to 0.95. Next, add a rectangle mask and connect it to the background node. With the rectangle mask selected, set its sweat value to 0.33 and height value to 0.1 We are going to add a subtle stroke to our mask Add another background node and connect its output to the output of the first merge node This will create new merge node Now right click on your first rectangle node and select copy. Then right click on the empty space in the node editor and choose instance space. This creates an instance copy meaning changes to the original will affect this copy. Right click on add solid value and select the instance. Then uncheck solid. Next right click on the border width and the instance set. Set the border width value to 0.002. Finally select your first merge node and set its blend value to 0.95 Let's set up the main background Add another background node and connect its output to the output of your second merge node that will create a third merge node Select this new background node and set its red, green and blue values to 0.95 for that consistent of white color. Go back and select your first merge node and the inspector. Change the operator to mask. This will ensure your text is properly masked by the white rectangle. Now time for some animation. Select your text plus node. Go to frame number 72. In the layout tab, add a keyframe on the center value. Now go back to frame number 0. Set the center y value to 1. Open spline window and select all the keyframes and smooth them out. Next, select your first rectangle node at frame number 72. Add a keyframe on the width value. Go to frame number 0 and set the width value to 0 0.01. Open spline window for this keyframe and smooth them out as well. To 
add a dynamic highlight to your text, we'll use a pen node. Open search window by pressing shift plus spacebar and search for pen. Add the pen node, connect the output of your merge tree node to the pen node. Then add another merge node. Connect the merge tree to the yellow input of the merge 4 and connect your pen node to the green input of the merge 4. Select the paint node. Above your weaver, click on the polyline stroke option. Now carefully add points on the word you want to highlight. In Inspector, go to the Modifier tab. Set the brush size to 0.05. softness to 0.3 color to yellow and opacity to 0.8 now select merge 4 and set its apply mood to multiply To animate the highlight, select the pen node again and in inspector under the stroke control, you will see the right on. Go to the frame number 60. Add a keyframe on the right on end value and set its value to 0. Then go to the frame number 100 and set the right on end value to 1. Open the spline window for this keyframe and smooth them out. For a subtle final touch, let's add some film grain. Press the shift plus space bar and search for the film grain. Add it and connect it to the output of merge 4 node. Set at strength value to 0.02. And there you have it. Your rolling text animation is complete. Let's take a look at the preview. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel Halsa Design. Don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your friends. Your support genuinely means a lot to me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.